Hiya and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to be talking about a little application you can get for free called Process Tamer. Now I haven't had a chance to test this yet even though I've installed it but I haven't had a chance to test it on a machine that's actually got high CPU usage or anything like that. So it would be useful if someone could actually use it who's got high CPU usage and see if it's any good or whether it's a load of rubbish. But anyway you can get it from this actual um, actual website here. You just need to come to this part here where it says download and it's only 2.94 uh, megabytes. Download it. I've already got mine downloaded. Okay. And as you can see, this is the app here. Actually, uh, we're going to install it now and show you what it looks like. So I've got it on my desktop. I'm just going to quickly install this. It's nothing too taxing. You just need to go through the installation process. That's it. I'm, I've already registered mine, so I'm not going to really have to register it. And then you can see it's, it's down in a little box down the bottom here. It's like a little scales of justice there. If you click on this, it opens up the actual process tamer configuration. So what you need to do is, I've left this as default so far. I've not really, uh, you can have it starting with Windows if you wanted to, like so. And uh, have a log file if you wanted a log file. Set it up how you want to set it up. I mean, pretty much I've left it bog standard really. Okay, and I'm going to click on the processes tab. Now processes, as you can see, they are running here. These ones, uh, what we can see are running. Now if you click on the task manager here, let me just put this down, down the bottom. If I right click on the, uh, here and go task manager, we can actually see the processes tab. We can actually see what's going on here. Now say for instance, you've got Explorer going erratically and stuff like that. Well, apparently this can actually calm it down and actually take the priority from that process and slow it down. So I don't know how, how good it works because I've not had a chance to use it on a machine that's got high CPU usage. That's not to say that you've not you've not got spyware or malware or something of that nature. So what I suggest you do is actually spot, do a search for spyware or malware just to make sure that it's not that that's actually causing that in the first place. And if that was the case, then this program would be useless to you. So. In fairness, I mean, it just depends on what's going on with your machine. So you'd obviously have to do the, uh, the general uh, checks to make sure that it's not malware or spyware. Anyway, so let's have a little look. As you can see here, it's got an actual tabs, as you can pull down here, ignore, false low, false high, normal, and so on, and false kill. Okay. And it's also got a priority um, tab there, which you can change for each individual process. Okay, so apparently it works pretty well. I mean, I've not really heard uh, many reviews about it, so it will be interesting to see whether it does work um, from people that have actually got it. So let us know how you get on with it, and if I have a chance to uh, find a machine with high CPU usage, I'll give it a go myself and get back to you and let you know whether it's any good or not. Anyway, thanks for watching. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel, show your support. If you've got any questions, leave a comment and uh, I'll do my best to answer them for you. Any requests for videos, send us a message and I'll make that video for you, as long as it's computer related. Thanks again. Bye for now.